All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is YouTube, this is Pastor Dowd. You know, I've got uh, quite a few people that are listening to me nowadays, and of course, I'm continually keep getting the same questions asked, and whenever I get the same question asked repeatedly, I try to do whatever I can to address it. I'm not going to be long, because I'm getting ready to head to the gym and work out. Um, but the question that this one person proposes right here, let me uh, read it verbatim. He says, Pastor Dow, the big question. If a person does not have the Holy Spirit, talk in tongues, have signs that fall, etc., those people uh, do not inherit eternal life, correct? No trick question. Seriously, need to know. And this is what I wrote in, in my reply to him. I said, my main concern is not to judge someone as to eternal life. My job is to tell the people the truth and to get those who have ears to hear to meet y'all's conditions. Very key right there. We'll all be judged by the judge, and one thing is for sure. I will obey and do what he says and lead everyone who has the ears to hear to the truth. It's really not that hard to understand. Read it for yourself and do what the Bible says. Then you will know who I am and why I'm here today as a Jeremiah 315. I often say, oh no, no again, that the people with the argument is always at the mercy of of the ones with the experience. I have a lot of people that argue a lot of things. But when you have the experience that sit right up in front of you, you know, is it is it not remarkable that that when you look throughout the scriptures, as well as the Messiah himself, and as well as the apostles, did you know the one thing that they all had in common? It seems like every single man of Yah they had a great impact in the word. They all had power. They all had power that come from the Holy Spirit. And they did many, many things, many, many acts at different times throughout history. Moses, miracles. David, with miracles. Uh, Elijah, Elisha. Uh, you go to Jesus. You go to Peter and then Paul. And everything that they have already spoke about, they told us, what we will be doing. And then they said these words right here. This is what Jesus said. These words right here. To those who have ears here. Now listen. I understand that, that many of you. Are going to continue to keep arguing. Because you people have learned how to argue. Everything. But you've learned how to produce nothing. And what we're doing. At Straightway. And the ministry of Straightway. It can't be produced by some formula. It can't be produced by because you go out and you study or something. It, it's got to be by the genuine power of the Holy Spirit. So I'm trying to get over to you. And the Bible says, this is what Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus, the HaMashiach, this is what he said after his death, burial, and resurrection. And this is what he said. Now, you're going to get people, they're going to argue even this down. You know, again, people have arguments. But then again, when you heard that, you know, when you read that Jesus said, I'm sending you out and I want you to do certain things when, when you go out. I want you to heal the sick. I want you to cleanse the leper. I want you to raise the dead. I want you to cast out devils because freely you have received. I want you to go freely give. Pastor Dow don't have time answering all these people that are unbelievers. I just simply go and do the work and signs follow me because I do his work. And the Bible says in Mark 16, 15, he said unto them, go ye into all the world. This, this is the instructions. And preach the gospel to every creature. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. You hear that? In other words, believers have signs that follow them. And then not only that, he even spoke about in, in the book of Corinthians that there are many different diversities of gifts that will operate in the body. I can't help that the places you go, that the only thing they do is say a few short prayers, recite a couple of things, and then study all day, and they have no spirituality, no spirit to back them up. You know, heaven is the one who told us what to do. I just simply obey what the word says. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name and shall cast out devils, and they shall speak with new tongues. Now, they will argue you down all day long. Mind you, I've got people that live right on this community straight straightway that speak multiple languages. 
People throughout the ministry speak multiple languages. And every single one of them have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And they know the difference between languages of men and the tongues of the Spirit. I'm always just so. But see, you would never, ever, ever convince a religious person that is full of unbelief anything. I already know that. I've been in Christianity and, and I'm here on this side. Messianics don't believe all anything. The Hebrew Israelites don't know how to believe anything the word said except what they can come to themselves and except what they can produce their own selves. Because it's obvious that the Spirit is not confirming the word with signs one following. It's obvious that the Spirit is not backing these people up. They shall take up service and they drink any daily things not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Regardless of what people say. From the north, south, east, and west, all across this world, people come to straightway. The very thing that they tell you you can't do, people do it. I, just like we just got finished with the Pe uh, Feast of Pentecost. And I've got reports from the message that I preached at the Feast of Pentecost of people receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. New York, New Jersey, uh, overseas, um, uh, where else it was, in Georgia, uh, Kansas City. Uh, Florida. And that, that's people, they heard the message. See, you, faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of Yah. And see, the problem is today, if you change the message, you change the people. And it's obvious that many of you are not the people of the book, even though you're religious in nature. I don't have time to argue with that. Blessed are not the hearers, but the doers. I, we just simply do. We have testimony after testimony after testimony of people being healed, of incurable diseases, people being filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, getting filled with the power of Yah. I just got another testimony from Pastor Corey as I was driving back from Mississippi about some people who come from a camp. They received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and all of that. They had devils cast out of them, which many of you are full of and you don't think you are because you don't know the, the difference between possession and not. But, um, I mean, religious people, they get up thousands of books and they argue down until they blew in the face. I don't have time to. We just do what the Bible says and we watch the word right before our very eyes and we watch the Ruach, the Holy Spirit, confirm his word because it's right there. You know, what would I be or who would I be or what would I look like believing this stuff right here and then look what it says in, in um. Mark 16, 19. So then after the master had spoken unto him, he was received up into heaven and he sat on the right hand of Yah. Look at this. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The master working with them and confirming the word with signs following. In other words, you really truly got the word. You got the gospel. Guess what? Yahshua, the Messiah, the Messiah. He is going to confirm what you're saying with sign following. That's all there's to it. And if you don't have his spirit, you none of his. David even prayed, take not thine Holy Spirit from me. Killed a bear and a lion because he had the Holy Spirit on him. Again, Israelites, the real true faith of Israel, the people always, always, regardless. And mind you, mind you, when you go to the book of Acts, even though, look at Stephen. Did many miracles, did many signs and wonders, and people hated him for it. Matter of fact, they killed him for it. Oh, man. What do you think they're going to do to those of us who are the real, true people of the book, who are filled with his gene, wine, Holy Spirit? The world hate us. they supposed to hate us. We're supposed to wear it and embrace it like a glove. They're going to hate us. They're going to despise us. They're going to reject us. But when you know who you believe in, and the power of Yah is flowing through you. And I teach people. I teach the disciples of Christ how to heal, how to cast out devils. That's right. You want to see the Holy Spirit? Lay hands on you. And then we begin to pray for you. And then the Holy Spirit answers and then I can't give it to you. But what are you going to do, when, especially when I got all these people coming from all these different camps? New York, New Jersey, Ohio, Michigan, Kansas. They come around all the saints. 
And the next thing you know, the very Holy Spirit that they teach them that they can't never have, they end up getting. Now what do you do? Now what do you do? Well, hey, I can't help it. But I do know this. I don't have no heaven or hell to put nobody in. But I am not about to waste my life and pass up on his life by arguing with Jesus, arguing with the words that are in that book, and, and then preach and teach, twist, warp, spin, and distort. And rest the scriptures to my own destruction. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to teach people how to obey them. And how that the most how will confirm the word when you obey him. And we'll go on in the newness of life. And as we go, we're going to make more enemies. That's all it is to the world. You ever notice that the world really truly don't care nothing about what we're doing? Only religious people, especially bitter religious people. Ain't that remarkable? It's amazing, isn't it? So rather than worrying about if you need the Holy Spirit, I'm going to tell you right now, yes, you need the Holy Spirit. You need to obey the Bible and you need to and do exactly what it says, just like I am. And you're going to find out to what level of obedience you really truly have. Not when you're rationalizing, not when you're marginalizing certain pieces of scripture and trying to explain away everything that the gospels have said. A good starting point for all of you is just to start in the gospel. Just stick with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John just for a while and see if the disciples cast out devils. See if they heal the sick. And then whatever Jesus did, because you're supposed to be walking as he walked. And Jesus said, all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. And the power that he has, he said, I give, so I got it, now I'm going to give it to you. Now, if you're going to be doing what Jesus said, walking as he walked, talking as he talked, and doing as he do, then get about the Father's business and do like the disciples did when he sent them out on the road. Whenever Christ came into a church or synagogue or home, you know the one thing he did? Heal and cast out devils. And I promise you, there are plenty of assemblies out there. Y'all full of them. Full of them. I can't help because you're intellectual in your own right and you choose to ignore what the clear word says, it don't take a rocket scientist just like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know what day is the Sabbath day. It don't. It really truly don't. It does not take a rocket scientist to, to know what the word says when it says you do not commit adultery. That doesn't take, it don't take all that explaining. And neither does the power of Yah take all that explaining. You get somebody spending time, energy, and effort trying to explain away the word. To make your cardinal mind feel good, you have just met the Antichrist, the devil, or more likely, a Edomite descendant of the scribes, the Pharisees, and the hypocrites. Believers just do the work of Yah, and we're increasing more and more. And I tell you another thing, as the years go by, and I'm getting older, the power is increasing, and more is happening. I'm a whole lot more powerful, a whole lot more stronger than I was in my youth, now that I'm 50 years old. I mean, it's only amazing what happens when you walk in this way. And all glory and all praise to the Most High Yah, who gives us all things that pertain to life and what we need. I praise his magnificent name. So the Israelites, we always possess power because we are set apart special people to be ministers to the nations. Not only that, but examples and all the prophets. Yezekiel and Jeremiah even talked to you. Yes, you did too. Talked about this New Testament or this Ruach HaKadosh living in you and dwelling in you. And I'm going to tell you a story. You don't get the Ruach HaKadosh by studying scripture. No, you don't. It is a literal experience. Throw out your religion. Throw out your, what you think you believe. Get your clean mind, clean slate. And go read the book of Acts for yourself. Read Acts chapter 2. Read Acts chapter 8. Read Acts chapter 10, verse 44 through 48. Read Acts 19, verses 1 through 8. And you tell me, after you read what it says, forget about what everybody else says, only what it says, you tell me what the disciples did. You tell me what Jesus meant. Yahshua HaMashiach in Acts 1, 8. You tell me what he meant. And then the people got it. And then you can come back to Mark 16 and you'll have a good understanding. A very good understanding. You'll understand what Joel 2.28 says. And you'll see the reason why Peter said in Acts 2.38, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. 
Jesus of Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So what if some don't believe? It ain't my problem. I'm just glad I do. And if you have ears to hear, my name is Pastor Dow. I'm what you call a Jeremiah 315. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Notice, Yahweh, the creator of the universe. And you know what? We prove that he's alive because when we're fighting and we're resisting and we're healing people and we're casting out devils and people are getting healed and getting delivered in Jesus' name, in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, we prove to you that the kingdom of Yah is more powerful than the kingdom of Satan. Most of you, all you have is words. That's all you've got is just words. Your whole life is just words. You study, and when you get finished studying, you have words. You have words and a change of clothes. That's all you have. But you have not a lick of power. What a wasted life. Hope I said something to stimulate thought with someone. That's the truth, and you heard it straight away. I am gone.